Now, when it comes to that French president, Emmanuel Macron, I can't stand him, not one bit. He is a straight devil in everything that he do and everything that he say. Now, when he was over here in the United States, when they had the meeting at the UN, he made some comments about African women and children. Now, I want you to pay attention who was sitting in the crowd while he was giving the speech as well. But let's roll this clip. In Africa, it's about girl education. Six, I mean, 63 percent of non-educated adults today are women. That's the deep roots of the, the gender inequalities. One of the critical issues we have regarding the African demography is the fact that this is not a chosen fertility. I always say, please present me the lady who decided being perfectly educated to have seven, eight, nine children. And this is not teaching African people from New York. This is a pure bullshit to say that. A lot of African leaders today, now, dare to have this kind of speech. This is just because a lot of girls were not properly educated. That's why for me education is the main answer. First, to avoid the worst. Second, to maximize opportunities in African countries and in the rest of the world. Third, to properly monitor demography because it will be a chosen demography. Now, did you notice Bill Gates and his wife were sitting there while he was giving this speech? Now, Bill and Melinda Gates, they do all these vaccines in the continent of Africa. And yet, from what I'm hearing, these vaccines are sterilizing African women. And this is why we know even in the U.S. that vaccines and what's happening to children with autism, a lot of people are, are really paying attention to the things that's being put into vaccines today. We all know that vaccines are used to spread HIV on the continent of Africa. We know that diseases like Ebola was created in labs. We know this. They're always trying to kill off the African population, but God won't let it happen. That's why. They're trying to do everything they can. Now, this particular president, Macron, Macaroon, whatever you want to call him, he's upset that African women are having seven and eight children, and he blames it on lack of education. So what, women that are educated, they can't have seven children if they so chose to do so? What are you saying? That people that come with this westernized education, they get so indoctrinated that they don't want to have children. And that's what's happening actually in your community. That's what happened. The women in your community is focusing more on education, focusing more on career advancement, focusing more on whatever they want to focus on, and they're not having kids, and you're pissed off. That's one section of them, okay? Then you have another section who have struggle wounds. Let's call it what it is. And African women don't have struggle wounds. African women can have all the babies that they want, and you're jealous. It's the same thing with Trump and these folks over here. They want to talk about people down south and what they're doing with their kids. But why you mention it's somebody else's kids? What's the problem? What's the issue? Nobody says nothing about your kids. You see, the thing is, they think that, you know, oh, well, we need to depopulate Africa. You know, Prince William said the same thing. They need depopulation. Depopulation for what? Why do you want to do depopulate? You have to think about Everyone is in their own little corner of the world, okay? Africa is for Africans. What are you doing there? Why do you want to be there? Who cares about their population? You have France. You have your country. Be president of your country. Stop going to Africa. Every time I look up, I see your little bean head in some African nation, walking around, talking to their leaders. Africa doesn't need you. Your country definitely needs Africa, and your previous president stated without Africa, France would be a third world country. This is what your previous president stated about France. So how in the world are you going to sit up there and act like you got a right to, to finger point at Africa for any reason? I mean, these people got nerve. 
And this is what frustrates me about African nations and African leaders, not the people, but the leaders. You actually hear these people talking crap like this. And the next day I will look up and see y'all walking with this fool. See y'all sitting down talking with this fool. Like you couldn't do that to me. I can sit up there and see you talking in a speech like this. And you mean in general. So when you say general, you mean all African pe- leaders. You mean all Africans. That's how I'm going to take it. So when you try to come over here like, nah, man, I don't, I don't need you over here. I don't want you over here. Matter of fact, get all your people out of here. I, I don't need you here because this is what you feel about us. So he walking around African nations, he looking at African children with disdain. Like the previous story I covered about that woman in Indiana, looking at a black child and getting enraged. Why don't you focus on and try to find out why, you know, the people in your country have a struggle wound. Figure that out. Are we trying to depopulate because you can't have children? You want Africa to depopulate? Why don't you tell China to depopulate? They have way more people in China than they do on the continent of Africa. No, the thing is, you want the, the population low so you could pillage, you know, and, and nothing happens. See, the thing is, the population is extremely high in Africa now, and I hope they keep having babies. Matter of fact, the president of Tanzania, he stated, women, start having more babies. Doggone right. Have some babies, but don't have some babies to be some slaves. Have some babies to come up like Shaka Zulu. Have them be like Shaka Zulu. Have them be like uh, uh, Khalid Muhammad. Be like them. Don't raise them to, to be no shucking and jiving uh, person that's going to be up in this man's face and, and, and dancing and singing when he show up. This man don't like y'all. I know there's a lot of Africans watching my show. Many. I just got an email uh, uh, from, from uh, a brother the other day that watched the show. He don't like y'all. So why do y'all letting him come in your country? And y'all have to stand up to your leaders, too. They don't mean you no earthly good. If they let that guy, after that speech come in your country and rubbing shoulders with your leader and smiling and letting him talk, y'all need to get rid of that leader. Now, I know there's a lot of corruption in, in a lot of these African nations when it comes to voting. We looked at, uh, what, Cameroon, Paul Bia, he won a rigged election. We know that. I talked to a young brother from Cameroon about a week and a half ago. He was pissed off about that. They're sick of that dude. But he is a control puppet. He works for that idiot that you just saw in the video. He do the bidding of that idiot, that same idiot that you started talking, Paul Bia be walking around in Cameroon with that, that dude. You know, he wants all y'all to stay speaking French. He wants to take over even more African nations. This is what he want to do. Y'all allow the French military in many of your countries. Why can't you say, wait a minute, where's our, our army base in France? Where's our army base in Europe? Where's our army base in, in, in America? You notice they never let you put an army base on their soil, but they can put an army base on yours. See, the people on the continent got to start standing up and say, hey, get your military out of here. We don't want you here. Just like the brothers and sisters in the Congo is telling them, get the UN out of here. We don't want their troops here either. It is time for Africans to push Africa for Africans. It's just that simple. If you don't like African children and you're pissed off and you cussing about women having children that has nothing to do with you, then you need to get off of the continent. They need to stop giving their money to the French banks because remember, you are a third world country without Africa. So how you got the nerve to say anything? I don't get it. These people are arrogant and evil. But the people that are watching the show on the continent, spread this video to all your friends or WhatsApp and everything else and tell any of your leaders, if you see them rubbing shoulders with this guy after you saw this video, Tell him, like, what the hell are you doing? Because we ain't gonna, we don't, ain't gonna accept this guy coming to our country no more. He don't like y'all. He don't like black people. He don't want black people to serve him. Like, you know, they wouldn't even want the World Cup if it wasn't meant for Africans. It's just that simple. They can't do nothing without black people. Study European history. Study it. They need black people for everything. When they were by themselves, with nobody else around, look at their history. Look at it. They need black folk. Once they realize, oh man, with, with black people, our lives are better. That's why they never can be without black folk. That's why they can never stay away. Now he's not saying nothing like say once again about China and they need to depopulate. China got more of a population than, than the continent of Africa. He don't say nothing to them, but China don't have the resources he want either. Everybody want to be on the continent of Africa. 
Everybody knows that without Africa, the world goes away. And the moment that Africans would band together, one billion strong, and actually want to kick everybody out and, and cut them off from the resources, they want to start World War III over it. Because they know they don't have no resources in these so-called developed nations. Remember, I made a post on our Twitter page, this company called Glencore, that's ran out of Switzerland, okay? They make $140 billion a year in Zambia off of copper. But look at how people are living in Zambia. They're struggling. That $140 billion off of their resources. But yet in Switzerland, they're living very good off of those resources. $140 billion a year? That belongs to the people of Zambia. See, that's the things I'm talking about. They need you and your resources. You don't need them. And even though they've been raping the resources, they only tapped into 10% of it. They haven't tapped into everything. So you can literally be trillionaires overnight in your countries. But when you let people like Macaroon over here come in your countries and rub shoulders with your presidents and implement what he has to say when he can't stand y'all. That's basically what it is. I can't stand black children. How daddies African women have children. Y'all got to start having more pride in that, brothers and sisters, in, in African nations. You got to have a love for self. You got to love black people. You got to want to govern yourself. You don't need the white man to save you. He can't save himself. So you need to save yourself and do for self. Brothers and sisters right here in America, we're willing to work with you. You know, not all of us are on that shucking and jiving. We want to connect with you. We want to you know, do anything we can to, to help. But one thing we cannot do, and one thing I can't tolerate, I can't tolerate that love for master situation. I can't tolerate that from nobody, whether it's here in America or on the continent. Because I've definitely seen some people that's shucking and jiving on the continent too. Like, I want to know what Africans think about this in the comments section, those of you on the continent. I already know what black America is going to say, but what do people on the continent think about this? And those of you who have these uh, francophone nations, and that's even wrong to say francophone, really? Francophone? That's saying you still colonized. That they gotta stop too. Just, this whole situation just pissed me off. That, I said, I see that little little bastard running himself around all these African nations and opening his mouth. But leave me a comment. They know thing about this particular story. But you know, Africans on the continent, it, it's time. It's time to take your countries back. It's time to have an Africa for Africans. These people will never let you come in their countries and put military bases or do anything in their country. So why in the hell are you letting them do it on your soil?